when creating PDF documents, there's a couple of steps you need to go through before you get to automating it in Ackley. And the first step is that you need to know if there's fields in the document. So uh, I recommend Foxit Phantom PDF uh, it would be is the one that's been working best for us and recommend you getting a copy of that. So the next step is, is I'm going to do some verification on the on the document because what we've seen is, is sometimes on some PDF fillers it will still show up okay but there's errors in the link so what what I'm going to show you now is is how to verify that everything is appropriate and hooked up um, if if you go through and do a document you see that the fields are sh showing up in the automator but when you go through to prepare the document and none of the fields come in, it means that there the PDF is corrupted and it needs to be fixed. So that's what we're going to go through and do now is fix a corrupt, uh, potentially corrupted PDF. So I'm just going to open up my form, and the only thing I want to do at this stage is I want to click Reset Form. Yes. And then it, you'll see that now you can see the forms on here. If I click on text field, I can go into it. I can edit text fields. You see, I've got auto text here. If I need it to, if you need it to change, you can change it. Um, you can change variable names there if you want. Then I'm just going to click save. So when I upload it to Nackley, I'm going to go to my uh, my catalog that I want to be part of and in this case I'm going to do it as a part of a corporate I'm going to go to templates add new template and I'm going to do it as a PDF I'm just going to say NV form and now I've got the NV form I'm going to click save and I'm going to say it's fillable and I'm going to save again and let's just make sure what I saved that to Form 1 PDF. Okay, so Form 1 PDF. I click Save. And now I just go through and start filling it out. There is some nuances to this that I'll, that I'll walk you through. Now I'm going to get my company name and information. So you'll see I we, we use company as an object and that kind of went over that in the training. Um, on how object works but if I just click down I can copy this and paste it I do at this for this level I do have to get rid of the brackets around it so and then I'll do company I don't have a DBA in here but I can go through and add different variables now and, and just following the same process um, of adding the variables in here and you'll see in your instance that I've got all the the names here now when we get down to the will applicant make a fund loans from his own account you'll see we have a button and it's a toggle so no and yes so what I need to do is say I'm just gonna create a new variable real quick called applicant funds I'm going to make a true false variable. Now I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to do another one that's a text variable because there's a description there. I'm going to click save there. Go back to templates to my NV form. So you'll see applicant funds, which is down here. So I'll copy it. Just remove that. Now this one becomes, so now in order to get, if it's true, I need a yes. If it's false, I need a no. I do this. And you'll see examples on what you have. Ye yes. So I just got to duplicate exactly what's on here. Yes then colon no and this basically tells it 
give it a yes or give it a no depending on what's toggled. Um, in this case, if I were to try to do it here, I would actually have to do one and zero to get that one to work because it's looking for a zero or one. So just because of how the original person programmed the document. Now, if I want a yes here, if I want this to show, there's one other step to do. And this one is a little bit trickier. So I'm going to do applicable funds. And I'm just going to paste it from others. But what I'm doing is, is I'm saying basically, if it's a if applicable funds are true, then I'm going to put this right here. And this just basically gets it so it hides and shows. And then I do a colon and no null. So. In here, this is a little bit different than in the Word templates where you would, there's a little bit different structure. But that's how it, in, in the PDF templates, this is kind of the format that's used. If you have any questions on that, please let me know. Uh, nice thing is you've got an example now that you can go through and use. I can click Save. And I'll add NVForm to my app. going to show templates. I'll drag that in. So now if I go into corporate, I click review and update. It's going to ask me, so it's got Google there already, but it's got applications of funds, test, um, and these are new ones based on and you can get order here and the other training videos walk through that but complete and then we got form one I get yes test no so that brings everything in right now this is set up so that this will auto so it will go super small if it needs to but you can also in the PDF editor. You can also go through and if you double click on it, you can say font size and do an exact font size as well. So you've got some options there. Okay. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions.